And today we are fixing up this little chicken coop that someone gave me because if you remember it was broken into by either a bobcat or neighborhood dogs or coyotes, not really sure. But it was definitely a sketchy build in the first place. It wasn't very sturdy. So we're replacing the roof, which wasn't even like plywood, I don't think. Anyway, we're replacing the roof and we're replacing this next nest box cover this is where the dogs got in and we're replacing the bottom of it so that should be a beautiful little secure coop for either chickens or rabbits and we have a new floor to the nesting box yay now for the top. Okay, so now we're just doing details because every hen needs a nest box divider. Right, you guys? All right, the moment of truth. Does it fit? Yes, <laughs> and it fits. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Yay! Oh. Makes a neat sound too. <laughs> oh, spooky! It's a haunted chicken coop. It was coop. a dark, lonely night. <laughs> the lightning came crashing. <laughs> a loud scream! You scream. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out. And then it stays. Do we have our pen secure from predators? Yes, we do. What a relief to get this finished. Pretty good. This brooder has served us really well. But it's time to get these babies into something a bit bigger. You guys, this is my favorite one. She's an Americana. So she will lay blue or green eggs. She's missing her friends. This is another one of my favorites. This one, she will lay a olive egg. So that'll be my first olive egger in my flock. All right. is my Copper Moran Barnabelle mix and it'll be mostly black and it will lay a chocolate brown egg. This is my other Copper Moran Barnabelle mix and she will lay a dark chocolate egg also. Put you in with your friends. All right, and then, unfortunately, I think the rest are roosters. Yeah, see, look at the comb on that one. So I'm thinking he's a rooster. I'm gonna put him in there, though, and, you know, raise him to a certain age. Definitely can't keep any more roosters. 
Now I'm kind of unsure about this one um, because he or she is just beautiful. So look at that coloring. So I would love for this to be a hen. I think it's a rooster because again, while there's not much comb, it's getting pretty red and getting colored where the others aren't at all. Um, so this would be an Arocana if it, um, if it turns out to be a hen. We'll get the keeper. So we'll see, time will tell. So I will keep these babies in this pen for a few days so that they see this as home base. And then I'll be able to let them out and roam around the yard, you know, after I put the dog up and um, be able to come back here for home base. So that'll give them a lot more freedom and yeah, I feel much better about that. <laughs> so I'm glad we have this coop fixed up. Thanks to my knight in baseball cap and jeans, who's my helper in fixing things. Now you might be wondering, why am I not putting these babies in with my flock? or in with the other three older ones. Well, they would really get picked on, maybe even killed. So definitely can't do that. When I get my new coop built, I want to have a little mouse hole, so to speak, that they can run in to get away from the big chickens and have their own little area in the coop that they can be in and grow up until they're ready to join the flock. And then the big chickens can't pick on them and they can roost in there at night. So yeah. but. That's when I build my new coop. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe in the fall. We're saving every penny. But I did get to go to the dentist. We, if you, you might not have seen the video, but um, we were building a new coop and we had the foundation laid and I was so super excited about it. But I got a toothache. I need to go to the dentist. So we took that money and spent that on the dentist. But I'm so thankful that I got to go and got it taken care of. It doesn't hurt anymore. And it worked out really well. I found a dentist I really, really like in my area, so that was really good. So, we're saving again for the new coop, which we hope to build in fall. Okay, give them food. I've got them started on fermented food like all the other chickens, mixed with uh, like a chick starter, half and half about, just to make sure they're getting enough protein. And they're graduating to a nice big water because I never want them to run out of water. And plastic, so I can put apple cider vinegar in there. To help them get through this hot time. So while there's not much surface area to this coop, this will allow me to open the door and let them out in the yard, like I said, so they can spend quite a bit of time. I might even make a little temporary yard for them to come out into if I'm worried about them mixing with the other chickens when they get out. Every morning my chickens get out into the whole yard. The dog stays in for a couple hours and they just get to have a boredom buster and explore. I couldn't do that though if I had my garden back here or if I had any plants that were precious to me back here. So. Alright, I think they're settled. Looks like some are exploring up here. Oh, just one. So this is where they'll roost at night on these bars. And then there's a little nesting box back there. I better put some straw in that or they'll make a mess of it. are almost ready to join the big flock. They're getting bigger. It's hot. Everybody's hot. Ugh. Oh, 